What's going on everyone, Comic Goon here. Today we're going to take a look at True Believers Collectibles in Menlo Park, New Jersey. This is located inside the Menlo Park Mall. And, uh, you know, there's no sound in this video. Only because there's music playing and I don't want to get hit with a copyright. And, you know, they even start messing with my channel. But this store is an offshoot of another store uh, called Rip and Rub Collectibles, which is in Butler, New Jersey. This one is way bigger, though, and has a lot of awesome figures, toys, games. You'll see in this video uh, a lot of stuff in those cases. Some signed figures. These are all like the model kits and some uh, black series and DC figures. Um, you know, they have a lot of stuff in cases, but they have way more stuff outside of the cases. As you'll see here. And, uh, you know, I like going to the shop. I will say at the shop, you're definitely going to pay top dollar for anything here. And, uh, you know, so just be forewarned, you know. Uh, so there's some Star Wars figures there in the back. Now we have a whole wall. This is all Marvel figures, uh, Black Series and Toy Biz and things like that up on this wall here fun fun note there was a couple next to us and uh, they started singing um, the song that was playing overhead which was pretty good the guy actually had a pretty nice voice uh, I actually have that Dr. Doom but I, I was checking out this uh, this Moon Knight here it's really really nice uh, but I did not pull the trigger on that um, I like Moon Knight but I'm not the biggest fan of Moon Knight there's my wife. Here's another case with just more DC figures. Some G.I. Joe figures as well. Now we're getting to like the WWE figures, the elite figures and things like that. They also have DC in there. There was a particular figure I was looking for. It was the, um, the Edge uh, Elite figure, not the one from WrestleMania. This was the Return Edge figure, but I could not find it, sadly. So then they have a whole wall here full of Star Wars. They have Star Wars kind of, uh, you know, all about the store. But yeah, dope wall of Star Wars figures. And Black Series figures. This this is probably my favorite spot in the store. They have some uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA figures here. They also have some loose ones as well. But as we'll keep going, you see some of the prices on this. They're definitely a premium price. They also have the OG figures in the bottom. Some on card, mint on card, you know, unpunched. Just waiting to be uh, bought. But again, like I said, you're going to be paying, paying a premium price for some of these. But they're really, really awesome looking and in really good condition as well. So you definitely are going to get what you pay for. continue on the side here some more turtle stuff there Casey Jones mask then you have the NECA movie turtles there and then you have that big diorama uh, you know pretty pricey but super cool if you're into like figure photography and things like that as we move along there's some other figures there some more NECA figures
Now we're getting to video games. I do like to collect some retro video games, mostly Nintendo, but they have a little bit of everything here. This is their uh, display. They have some 64 games, some Game Boy handheld, some Nintendo games in box, Game Boy games in box. Uh, nothing sealed from what I saw, but still, if you're picking them up to, just to play, then, you know, this is a pretty good spot. And, and the prices on those were pretty good, too. And here's some uh, 64s just wrapped in like a uh, saran wrap. Now, this is another my another favorite part of the store. These are all uh, DC superpower figures. Um, all of them are uh, mint on card, un some unpunched. Um, I don't think most of these are graded, but they're in these awesome looking protectors and cases. I had my eyes on a couple of them. They had a Mr. Miracle one, but these were like three, four hundred dollars. They have the vehicles in the bottom, and now this. These are mostly all graded uh, G.I. Joe figures on card, unpunched as well. And these are these are pretty pricey, 100%, but they look so good. I think I only had like one graded figure in my collection, but these definitely make me want to go send some in to get graded. And uh, the prices are just right there on the sticker. You can see just very expensive, but... That's how the market is today. The market's, you know, pretty a, a pretty pricey place to uh, find figures and such. Yeah, I, I love these. Here we have some Masters of the Universe figures, vehicles and such. Charlie Sheen. Some more G.I. Joe figures there and vehicles. Here they also had, if you see in the top left corner, they had the Dark Side Destroyer. They also had the Hall of Justice, which I was trying to see how much they wanted for it, but couldn't work out a deal. One day, that will definitely be in the collection. There's some stuff in the back there. There's a better look at that. And then they have some more stuff hanging out in the back. He-Man and they have some Mesco stuff back there. Um, just awesome. Some awesome stuff. They also have some comic books. They have tons of Pop Funkos, Pokemon cards, as you see here. And, uh, you know, we definitely picked some up. You know, Jen's a, Jen likes to collect these. So she, she grabbed some that day. So yeah, that's the end of the video. If you're ever in the New Jersey area around uh, Edison or Menlo Park, go check this place out. It's great. Uh, just be forewarned, it is premium pricing here. Pricing is pretty high, but you're getting a really good, uh, you're getting some really good figures, some really hard to find stuff. And uh, yeah, so with that said, make sure you subscribe to the, the channel. There's going to be tons more videos coming tons more toy shows coming and haul videos coming for comic books toys funkos you name it that's what we're going to be doing on the channel and so yeah with that said thank you guys again we'll check you out next time peace